Hello, hello, good evening family. God bless you. Welcome to tonight's prayer. My name is Faith and this is Joy in Zoe into such prayer ministries. We'll meet here every Monday to Friday from 9 p.m. to 9 30 p.m. to stand in the gap and intercede for the unreached and unsaved people across the nations. Alright, so you're welcome again to tonight's prayer. God bless you. I hope you had a wonderful day. I hope you had a blessed and fruitful day today. So tonight we will be praying for the the Kabashi in Sudan. The Kabashi in Sudan. All right. So the Kababish, sorry, the Kababish in Sudan. So before we begin our prayers, let's bless the name of the Lord. Let's thank him for tonight to this people group and what is said to do in our midst in the name of Jesus. Amen. We'll pray in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Awesome God, we give you praise. Father, we thank you, Lord, for your goodness. We thank you for your mercies. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your love, for your compassion. We thank you, Lord, for your son, Jesus Christ. We thank you for the cross. We thank you for the gift of salvation. Father, Father, we thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father, for tonight's people group, for remembering those people, oh God. And as we have gathered here to pray for those people today, we'll pray, oh God, that those people will have an encounter with you that will result, Lord, in the transformation of their life, of their souls, that will result in the salvation of their souls, of many among those people group in the name of jesus amen we pray oh god that their hearts will be open to receive your word they will understand it and they will accept jesus as the lord and savior amen oh father in the name of jesus we ask oh god that you empower us by your spirit to pray your perfect will tonight above all lord let your kingdom come and let your perfect will be done have your ways with all the spirit in jesus precious name we we'll pray amen and amen hallelujah amen all right for tonight's people group the kababish in sudan hmm. so a brief uh, okay before we begin to talk about the kababish in sudan let's talk about the unreached people who are those people who are the unreached people and why are we praying for them so for everyone joining us for the first time you might be wondering about this so just to give you um, a brief about those people to keep you up to speed to let you know who they are and why we are praying for them is that this unreached people group they are ethnic group of people they live in the same community they practice the same um, religion they speak the same language but these people do not have access to the gospel they do not have access to um churches they are not they do not know anything about christ they do not have believers among them or around them to even evangelize to them so most times these people some of them some of these people they are called the least rich people they might have believers among them but these believers they are not um like, like they're not large in number they're not enough to evangelize the whole of their community to get the gospel of the lord to spread across their community to get everyone around them to know about christ so these people, they will always need outside help. They will always need believers from outside to come join the few among them to tell the people about Christ or to bring the gospel to them for the first time. So you might be wondering, okay, how do you know that these people are unreached? Now, if in a community, a particular people group, if the believers, the people who are uh recognized as christian people who identify as christian who say oh I'm, I'm a christian i believe in jesus i believe in god if they are not more than five percent if these people the christians the nominal christians even are not more than five percent people who they do not necessarily belong to a particular church if they are not more than five percent then these people are um, regarded as unreached people 
then for evangelical people who yes they have identified to be um, followers of jesus they have the the <coughs> the gift of speaking in tongues and also they have um they have the bible they recognize the bible as their only basis for truth if those people the evangelical if they are not more than two percent among those people then they attempt to be um unreached or least reached people so this is how we identify these people now you might wonder also how do you get this information well we get every information from the joshua project.net so to know more about those people and even how you can be a part of this great commission how you can contribute your quota to this um to this move of god you can find that more information from the joshua project.net the joshua project.net so before you do your search i'll give you a, a tip one way you can be uh, a part one way you can contribute your quota be a part of this great commission is by adopting you can adopt an unreached people group you can adopt an unreached people group and dedicate time daily to pray for them Okay, and you can also just the way we pray for them here daily Monday to Friday. Um, you can just adopt one particular group and just pray consistently for them daily. You can also um, support the missionaries and support the translation of the Bible, the creation of gospel materials which are being sent to those people in their own languages you know they translate the bible to different languages send them to those people so they can have access to the word of the lord to the gospel they can be able to study to learn about christ in born in their own language you can support that with your finances so this is also another way that you can be a part of this and all this information you get from where the Joshua Project.net. All right, so that's it for the unreached people. Just a brief summary about them. Now back to tonight's people group. Today we will be praying for the Kaaba Beach in Sudan. The Kaaba Beach in Sudan. Now these people, they have a population. That the Kaaba Beach people, they are from the country of Sudan. They have a population of 489,000 and also a world population of 489,000. They speak the Sudanese Arabic language. They speak the Sudanese Arabic language and their primary religion is Islam. They have 0.0% Christian adherent and 0.0% Evangelical. These people have access to only the New Testament Bible, that is, the New Testament Bible is available in the Sudanese Arabic um, translation. So they only have that in the New Testament Bible. They have access to online audio New Testament, they have access to the Jesus fame, they have access to audio recordings, but their status is still enriched. Their status is still enriched. So the term Kababish is usually used to describe anybody who is half Arabic and half black. So the Kababish are a loose tribal confederation of Arabic people of mixed origins who live in a region of desert scrubland. So they are traditionally Muslim but do not strictly follow the rules of Islam due to their harsh desert lifestyle. So while Kababish men move across the desert with their camel herds, the women and the children stay home. Now the ministry obstacle, the hindrance of the gospel to these people is the access to these people is very difficult. So many of these people are nomadic and Sudan is harsh. Nomadic that is they move around a lot so they are it, it, it's difficult to get a hold of them to get them in a particular place and the the Sudan is harsh has a harsh environment 
So the outreach idea, the good news on how we can reach these people is by connecting with and talking about Jesus with homebound women may be fruitful, may be a fruitful strategy. So radio broadcast for these women would also be helpful. Men who work in the marketplace could be effective in reaching the men. Hallelujah. Amen. So we are going to pray on this outreach idea that the breath of the Almighty will come upon this outreach idea, making this outreach idea to be fruitful in this time. So we pray, we are going to pray that God will raise okay, homebound women like people who will take the gospel to these homebound women you know, through radio broadcasts so they can hear and know about Christ. So we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Maso sata liba kanto sekeke leipa kanto sika libre do sina mahanda lesu sata liba baba do sika pa libre dege dege de. Oh Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for the Kababish people in Sudan. We thank you, Lord. Maso ahanda kaleke to sekeke. Thank you for this outreach idea and we thank you lord for the laborers that you were raising oh god to take action on this outreach idea right now in the name of jesus christ amen we pray that you will raise laborers oh god who will connect with and talk about jesus to the with the homebound women in the name of jesus that this uh, women who stay at home, Lord, we pray that you will raise laborers who will take the gospel to them, who will tell them about Jesus, who will talk to them about this, the, the Savior, Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, amen. We pray, O God, Masua Handa Kato Sekede for radio broadcast, O God, that will be available, or oh, even in your language, a gospel radio broadcast, O God, that will pray that they will be multiplied among this people group and the, the those women will have access to them will have access to this radio broadcast oh god Jay by hearing the word of the lord coming to the knowledge of the truth about christ in the name of jesus gaining access to the gospel gaining access to the truth coming oh god masupa kaliba kata to the knowledge of christ in the name of jesus amen oh father we thank you lord for even the men as they go out to work we pray that you will raise laborers men who will also meet them at their places of work, O oh God, thereby bringing the gospel of Jesus to them, telling them about Christ in the name of Jesus. Maso satapali ba 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 ba. We pray that you raise believer who will speak your word boldly, who will speak your word boldly. Rado sikapalia, who will make available radio broadcast, O God. Lesuka palia gospel radio broadcast, O God. Lesupa kanto sekeke that those women, O God, as a listen, Lord. Rado spalia handa. They they will have access to the gospel. They will have access to the word of the Lord. They will come to the understanding of the truth about Christ through this radio broadcast and through conversations with them in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we give you praise. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for the gospel radio broadcast that you were raising. You were making available to those people, oh God, for the laborers you are raising to go over to this homebound women, oh God, to tell them about Christ. We say thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you for the men, oh God, that you are divinely connecting, oh God, that they will have the, the, the access, oh God, they will have the means, oh God, to speak to those people about Christ, telling them about Jesus. Lesuka Palia Handa will ask so God that even as those words are coming to them, let their hearts be open to receive. Let their hearts be open to receive. We we'll pray the eyes of their understanding be open that they will be able to comprehend the gospel, the truth, the call of Christ over their life, that they will receive this gospel and be safe in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Oh Abba will give you praise. Leba so kakaliba katayabados namahanda. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for making this outreach idea fruitful in this time. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Our scripture focus for tonight is taken from the book of Psalm 148 and verse 5. And it says, Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded 
and they were created hallelujah he commanded and they were created hallelujah with this scripture focus we are going to pray that the gift of life will draw many from this people group to worshiping god only in the name of jesus amen oh mercy kaliba kato sekike father we thank you for your word in psalm 148 and verse 5 masua handa kada we pray that those people will come oh god to understand that you lord created them and you have created them for yourself you have created them for your worship we pray oh god that this in itself will draw many of those people group to you lord oh masia handa kato sekike it will draw them to you that they will come to worship the one and only true god in the mighty name of jesus they will come to worship oh god the god of heaven in the name of jesus lesu palanda lepa kato sekike kato sika paka paka pa repo kopo koli ba 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 le koto sika paka paka lento sekike libe de gede in the mighty name of jesus christ amen oh abba father we thank you for your word rabado si papalia handa thank you lord masuka paka le for the gift of life oh god that is drawing those people to you lord in the name of Jesus, Amen. Father, we give you praise. Thank you, Father. Masuka paka paka lekede. Oh, masupa kalia for causing them to know to come to realize, oh God, that you have made them for yourself, oh God. Thank you because the gift of life that you have given to them is drawing them closer to you right now. In the name of Jesus, they are coming to the understanding and the truth, oh God, that you have made them for yourself, and there is no other way to you except through your Son Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, because they are coming to this understanding standing to this knowledge you go and they are coming to you they are coming to you they are coming to you knowing that jesus is the only way to you lord in the name of jesus father we give you praise hallelujah thank you mighty lord in jesus precious name we'll pray amen amen next we're going to pray we're praying for peace in sudan and we are praying for adequate food and water for the Kababish people and for their livestock in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, Father, we pray, O oh God, for peace, for peace in Sudan in the mighty name of Jesus. And we pray, O oh God, that you will bless them with adequate rain for, for, their, for the people and even for their livestock in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh, Father, we pray for peace in Sudan and we'll pray for adequate food adequate water we'll pray for the Kababish people for their livestock Lord let super Kalia that you will bless them with adequate food and water in the name of Jesus you will bless them oh God with adequate food with adequate water in the name of Jesus oh we ask for your peace let your peace reign oh God among those people in the name of Jesus amen that you will preserve them oh Lord let super Kalia handa kapa let your presence be felt among those people Masoka palia handa kado sekete guiding them away from conflict oh god rasupa paliba kato sekete we pray that you will continue to touch the hearts of the warring leaders in sudan in the name of jesus resorting to peace resulting to peace oh god may their heart oh god be softened le super palibre de gedo sidabahanda ya in the name of jesus christ oh god we ask oh lord sika palia that for peace oh god in sudan oh by your mercy let them come to enjoy Enjoy your peace in the name of Jesus. I will pray for adequate food. We we'll pray for adequate water. We we'll pray for for adequate food and water for those people. We we'll pray that they will come to experience. Oh God, let your presence, your presence, your love, your rest. Oh God, let super pa, let them feel you close to them. Oh God, rei pa susa tapa liya handa le koto sika pa kapa leke to sekete. Let your presence be felt among those people in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, we give you praise. Hallelujah. Rato sika pa kapa le to sika pa liya. Father, we give you praise. Thank. You will thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' much less name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Next, we're going to ask God to give the Kababish people a heart to hear the good news of Jesus and to seek Him in the Bible. Amen. Father, we pray for a heart, O oh God, to hear the good news of Jesus and to seek you in the Bible among those Kababish people. In the name of Jesus, Father, we lift up those people, the Kababish people of Sudan, to your hands, O oh Lord. 
Masuka paka paleke to sekeke. Lord, give them a heart, O oh God, that will long for you, heart that will yield for you, that will long for your truth in the name of Jesus. Give them a heart, O oh God, that will hear the goodness of Jesus and they will seek you, they will seek to know you. Oh, Masekeli, but they will seek to follow your ways, to walk in your truth, in your righteousness, O oh God, even from the Bible, even from scriptures, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. That those people, Lord, will serve you with understanding. Oh, Masekeli Baba, they will come to know you. Rados Pali Baba Baba, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we ask that you will give the Kababish people a heart to hear the good news of Jesus, a heart to hear the good news of Jesus, a heart to, that longs for God, oh God. Masuka a heart that desire to know you, a heart go liba kato sekele that desire to know you, that desire fellowship with you, that desire your true worship in the mighty name of Jesus and they will seek you even from the Bible, they will seek you even from scriptures in the name of Jesus Amen. Oh my sake Father you will say anyone who seek you shall find, let those people be found of you, let them be found of you oh God in the name of Jesus that you will draw them to yourself as a desire you as a long to know you, to know your son Jesus Christ. Father draw them to yourself oh God, bring them Lord, into your true worship, Rados Kapapa, into understanding, O oh God, of the good news about Christ, O oh God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we say thank you, Lord. Blessed be your name, hallelujah. In Jesus' matchless name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Next, we're going to pray for a movement to Christ among the Kababish people. A movement to Christ among these Kababish people. Father, we thank you, Lord. We we'll pray for a movement to Christ among the Kababish people in the name of Jesus. Let there be a disciple making movement, a movement to Christ, a church planting movement among these people in the name of Jesus. Let there be, oh God, the planting of churches from among those people, Lord, that they will have a place, a place of worship. Father, we we'll pray for strong, established local churches among among those people that they will have a place where they will gather together in the name of the Lord to gather together to fellowship in the name that is above all name Jesus they will gather together to pray in the name of the Lord to learn of you to learn of your son Jesus oh God Eka super part to learn of the path of righteousness uh, to walk in the ways of the Lord in the name of Jesus amen father will pray for a movement of Christ uh, a movement of Christ among those people even in this time beginning from now Oh God, that before the end of this decade, oh God, the word of the Lord that's gone across the Kababish people, across their communities, in the name of Jesus, that many from those people have come to Christ, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Many from those people are worshiping and serving you. Oh, Master, they have embraced the salvation of Jesus. They have embraced the eternal life that Jesus brings in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We thank you because many from those people. Oh, but before the end of this decade, have become, oh God, a de dedicated worshippers. Oh, my sake, Liba, Baba, active disciples of Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we give you praise. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for the Kababish people in Sudan. Thank you for what you were doing among those people. Thank you for your peace, oh God. Oh, my sake, your peace that surpasses all understanding, your peace that brings rest to God among those people. Thank you for endowing and doing those people with your presence, oh God, for for enveloping those people, oh Masuka, for incubating those people with your presence, oh Lord, with the presence of the Holy Spirit, for peace, oh God, for rest, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for the church planting movement. Thank you, Lord, Masuka, for the churches among those people around, all around your community. Thank you for the spread of the gospel across the Kababish people of Sudan, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, Masuka, for many hearts, oh God, that are turning to you right now from among those people we say thank you lord hallelujah blessed be your name blessed be your name blessed be your name in jesus much less name we pray amen 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 hallelujah next we're going to pray for every soul that we ordained unto salvation for the word of the Lord said in Acts 13 and 48 he said as many that were ordained unto salvation we believe we are going to pray as many that were ordained to eternal life they came to Christ, oh, Masikide, and the church, the, the, uh, 
okay many that were ordained unto salvation believe so we are praying for every soul that have been ordained unto salvation this day that the word of the lord will come to them speedily that they will their hearts will be open to receive they will receive the word of the lord and be saved to the glory of the name of the father in the mighty name of jesus christ amen oh maso sata paliba kanto seke keriba babadosa maso sata paliada we thank you lord for all that have been ordained unto eternal life today maso kapalia for your word say and they believe father they will believe right now they will hear your word they will receive it and they will believe it in the name of jesus they will turn over to christ they lay hand and they will begin to live and walk in your purpose for your life in the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. Oh, Masuka Kaliba Babadosia, let them begin to live, oh God, out your purposes for their lives, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for the missionaries. We thank you for the food soldier. We thank you for everyone taking the gospel to the ends of the earth. We we'll pray, oh God, for the outpouring of the Holy Ghost upon them to speak your word with boldness. Oh, Masusa Taliba Katosekeke, Maso Sente Keliada, that everyone to whom the minister will open their heart to receive but they will hear the voice of the lord they will obey the word that that has come to them in the mighty name of jesus christ everyone that speaks the word that does speak the lord shall minister to the people shall minister salvation transformation to the people they will be saved to the glory of your name in the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Abba, for our children. Thank you for our youth, for what you are doing in and around them right now, delivering them from the hands of the enemy, O oh God, and filling them with your spirit. We say thank you with your spirit to do your work, O oh God, to do your good work, that they will be zealous for the Lord, doing the works of the Lord, even in this generation. We say thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. Thank you for every member of Joy in Zoe Intercession Ministry. We we'll pray for more grace. God to keep keeping the word, standing in the gap, interceding for the unreached and your save across the nation. Thank you for even the more intercessors that you are raising on this platform. And as everyone that gather here to pray, we ask so oh God that you will empower them by your spirit and you will heal them, you will touch them, you will turn every issue of concern in their life into testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, Abba, we give you praise. Thank you for all that are yet to be saved that shall come in contact with this video. They shall be convicted and converted by the power of the Holy because resulting in the salvation of their souls in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we give you praise. Abba, we worship you. Blessed be your name. Thank you for answering all of our prayers. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Masoka Palia for the great effect of our prayers tonight. We say thank you, Lord. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you, family. Thank you for joining in tonight's prayer. Don't forget this prayer continues tomorrow, 9 p.m. to 90 p.m. Uh, do well to join us. Okay, the prayers will be posted tomorrow. So you will find them on our Facebook page. Do well to engage with the prayers. You know, like um, the, the page. Follow us if you're not, if you've not yet done that. Subscribe to the channel. And as you do that, the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Have a wonderful night. Rest. Shalom, shalom.